This actually was a question in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in, the Cart Flows Facebook group, as a matter of fact. And well, I'm not just in it, uh, I run it. And uh, someone asked, how do I show something delayed? And you see this a lot with marketing, right? So say you have a landing page with a video, you don't want someone to see an order now button and not watch the video. You want them to click play on the video and then realize, oh, this is some form of a sales page or there's some kind of offer that's about to be made made or there's an opt-in or there's something like that. So you might want to delay the visibility of certain items on your page. And I got to tell you, when someone posted the solution on how to do this, I just said to myself, I can't believe I didn't think of that. I mean, this is so simple. It should have been obvious to me. Maybe if you're not familiar with how to do it yourself, you might feel the same way. So I'm going to show you how to do it with three different tools, Elementor, Divi, and believe it or not, Gutenberg, which is a tool that I have been really getting into a lot lately. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com, where I make WordPress tutorials for non-techies like me and maybe like you. And just go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell if you like videos like this. Let's get into it. So what we're gonna use is the page building tools animation feature, duh, right? So here I am inside of Elementor. And so if I just drag and drop a button in, here's my button, I can click on it, click on the advanced settings, scroll down to motion effects, and it says entrance animation. And I can change this from default to fade in. And then right here, I can set an animation delay, and this is in milliseconds. So if I put 3000, that is three seconds. So if if I wanted it to be a minute after the person visits this page, I have to enter in 60 thousand right here, 60, one, two, three, just like that. So it will not show for one minute. Here is Divi. It's super easy here as well. So here's a button. I'm hovering over it. I'll click on the settings wheel right here. I'm going to click on design. I'll scroll down to animation. And then here are my animation presets. I'll choose fade. And then right here is the duration. But what we're looking for is the delay. Now you can take this slider and move it all the way across and it maxes out at 3000 milliseconds, which is just three seconds. But you can change that three to a 60 and now it will take 60 seconds to show it. And then you can save it. Here is a Gutenberg landing page that I designed using the default block builder in Elementor. So here's a video and then there's a button. I might want that to be delayed. So I can click on edit page. It's gonna take me into Gutenberg. Now for this, you're gonna need a Gutenberg add-on package that adds all these page builder functions and features into Gutenberg. It's called Cadence Blocks. Don't worry, it's completely free and it really supercharges the default block builder. So one of the modules that it has is the this button module. So I can click on it and here are the settings and it adds the animation option to these blocks. So I can click here for animation. I can choose one of the ones that I want. So for me, I'm gonna keep it simple and do a fade. And we have the same thing. We have the animation duration right here and you can you know, use this slider or you can manually enter it in. It's the same thing, it's in milliseconds. Actually, I just completely misspoke. It's actually here under start delay. <laughs> That's funny. I do that all the time. It's a good thing I caught it though this time. So you can do it here and then change this to 60,000 milliseconds, which would be 60 seconds. So if you were wondering how to do it, do this very thing, aren't you thinking the same thing? Why didn't I think of that? I know there's this animation option in these tools. I didn't even consider using it that way. Uh, so uh, that was me. And I knew I just had it to come here and make a video to show you how to do it as well, because it was so simple. And I showed you in three tools. I do have a tutorial coming on how to build that landing page in Gutenberg and it's uh, super easy and it ends up being a lot faster loading time because it's built with just native WordPress than the speed that comes out of Elementor or Divi. So I have a tutorial coming out on that, trying to encourage people to learn how to use the native default block builder in WordPress. Hey, can you give this video a thumbs up? It really goes to help me out. If you have any questions about this, ask me down below and consider subscribing and click on that notification bell. I'd love to see you around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.